In a previous presentation, I discussed lack of time and space, or LTS, and maintain that LTS is a realm that is separate from our universe. I associated the notions of life and God with LTS and maintained that LTS existed before our universe was formed and will continue to exist even after our universe ends. In this presentation, I will discuss the concept of creation to address the question, who created God? In the most basic sense, creation is a process that involves rearrangement of time-space related matters. Being a process, creation involves an expenditure of time and as such requires that time already be present. So, time itself and space and the universe for that matter must have originated other than by plain creation. Let's make up a new term, creation one, to be some exotic phenomenon that originated our universe, regardless of whether we can comprehend it. The plain creation is therefore applicable only after our universe was created one, rather than created at time zero. Creation also loses relevance when applied to life-related matters like thoughts, instincts, and free will, all of which have no clear beginning or ending and are not generated in the same way as, for instance, a car or a house is. Let's make up another new term, creation two, to be the mysterious event that initiated life. So, life was created too, rather than created when it was first introduced on earth and in my view has been propagating since then. Creation once again becomes irrelevant when used to determine who the ultimate creator may be. Trying to determine that is like trying to find the largest number there is. Both take us to the fringes of time-space and give undefined results. As such, the ultimate creator must have originated in a way other than by plain creation. Let's make up yet another new term, creation three, to be some exotic phenomenon that brought about the ultimate creator. So, the ultimate creator, or God, was created three rather than created. The point of making up the fancy new terms is to help us realize that the question who created God has interdomain or between domain inconsistency because it extends an ordinary time-space notion of creation beyond its limit to address God an LTS-related concept. Such inconsistency, by the way, is not the same as intra-domain or within-domain inconsistency we run into, for example, when comparing apples to oranges or when fitting a square peg into a round hole. Most belief systems, it seems, promote inter-domain or between-domain inconsistent claims like God, who has always existed, created the universe and life on earth. My corresponding view is God, who was created three, created one, the universe, and created two, life on earth. The key is to realize that while the plane creation is time-space related, creation 1, creation 2, and creation 3 are LTS related, regardless of whether we can comprehend them. If you found this discussion about inter-domain inconsistency in the question who created God to be thought-provoking, chances are you will enjoy reading my book 
which is focused beyond religion and science. Remember, although not mandatory, thinking is authorized. Thanks for your time and regards from the most livable city in America, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.